guys, this is Lavathorn. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today, we're going to try and get as much science as we can, because I don't know if you guys know, but Kerbal 2 comes out in just a couple of weeks, and we're probably never going to touch Kerbal 1 again. If it's really glitchy, we probably will, but um, it's just the alpha, so it's it's. I don't think it has the science, so there's no multiplayer. Uh, going to other systems is enabled yet, but they're going to be slowly adding that in. It's just basically Kerbal 1 souped up. But, so yeah, so we're going to try and finish off this series uh, a couple weeks. The last episode, I got something special planned. But before that, I figured we could just try and go to a few planets, collect as much science as we can, and call it good. So today we're going to Venus. We haven't gone to Venus in this, this series, the last one where I failed did, but this one we haven't. I do gotta apologize, I'm really congested, my nose, I can't breathe through, it's just pure stuffy. So if I sound funny, or if I slur my words, I'm so sorry, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Please just wish me to get better. But yeah, let's go and start making our ship. It's going to be a three-piece, uh, three different probes. We're gonna have one, a relay, orbit around the system. Hopefully I understand how relays work. We're gonna have one go to the moon, and orbit, and if possible land. And then we're going to have a ship land on Venus, too, and have all three of those. So this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and build it. I'm going to time lapse the building, and let's go! Okay, I think we are good to go. As you notice here, we have three separate vehicles or probes. The top one will go to the moon, hopefully orbit, possibly land. Second one is our, our big relay that has more antennas, so it should just stay in and keep our signal going, hopefully. <laughs> and our last one is our lander on Venus. It can't, uh, 
I've played around with relays a bit, and if you don't have like a non-relay thing on it, it doesn't work sometimes, so hopefully this fixes it. If not, then we just get as much science as we can and call it good, and we don't get to land. But if if not, it's partially successful, you know. And we have uh, multiple stage rockets, our boosters, our transition, and our get us there. And we're going to call it Venus or run out of money because it costs a lot. Let's go ahead and go. Oh no, why are rockets falling off? Why are rockets falling off? Okay, don't worry, we can fix this. Okay, that was super, super, super annoying. I think they got pushed up and out of the way. But let's, let's do a little bit of pushing in and over. In and over. Well, that's probably too much. Put it back. Okay, it was there. Let's do one and one. One and one. Okay, so that one's too far now. I think that's good. And just to be safe, let's do some extra struts on them. Strut. Oh, come on. Do the four way connection. Come on. Thank you. Let's strut them up. Strut up and strut up. Okay, and the other thing is because I think it's pushing it down, is what I'm thinking. Let's. Can we do this without hitting those? Am I get in the way of anything? No, let's do eight of these then. Whoa, what are you doing going inside? Okay, this is wigging out. Oh, no. <laughs> Tentacle difficulties. Okay, well, that, that should hold up, right? That alone should hold up. Actually, let's just do... Just so we don't hit something. Let's do down here. That way it's off the ground. Oh, my gosh. I'm so scared this thing's going to fall and explode. Version 2. I think it should clear the launch way. Oh my gosh, it didn't have to clear the launch way? Oh my gosh, it did it again. They just fell. Why is it being so dumb? Okay, this is pissing me off. I don't know why they're not... Okay, this is stupid. They're just like free fall in the air there. Let's just ditch all those. We do need them. So, let's see if we can... Why are they just falling off like that? Okay, well, I guess we're doing this way then. I mean, I can't think of what else to do. Then they should be stuck on. Okay, that's probably not really stuck on now. Now I'm worried about adjusting anything. Let's go and stick these. Because look, that's not even centered. Is it? I don't think it is. Let's try and recenter that. I swear, these things are the hardest things to work with. Okay, that looks pretty darn centered to me. So now we can just copy paste. We can cut. There we go. And we can just move these suckers down. So I don't mind if these ones go in a little bit. Okay, let's re strut up. 
don't really care about making it look fancy at this point. I'm kind of just pissed that this wasn't clean to even begin with. <laughs> Look, those aren't even... No. Tell me so. Okay, that would have been a disaster. Okay, they should be all slotted up now. Now, let me reset this crap, because I don't want these. Those rockets, those rockets. These ones these ones. I don't really care about these. We're not gonna... I mean, I guess we could bump them off. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. These go. These go. This go, this go. I think everything else is the same. Oh my gosh, I swear, if this thing breaks again, I am... I'm so gonna be pissed. Okay, we've lost about $50,000 experimenting with... Oh man, those boosters cost so much. Well, I don't know. We've lost, what, 2, 4, 6, 8? 8 times 2 is 16, 32. $32,000, because I think they all fell off twice. Okay, please work. Oh my gosh, it worked. Oh my gosh, it worked. Okay, we're going to Venus, and by Venus, you guys should know I'm going to say Venus a lot, I mean Eve. We're going to Eve. <sighs> okay, um, that's all good, good. Let's do our launch. Uh, yeah. Let's see. a little bit there. Right next to it. We're doing pretty good, to be honest. Okay, can we see it? Remember one time we were below it? Hmm, I don't see it. Let's see, the sun is that way. It's kind of pointing towards the sun a little bit. Sun forward. So if sun's that way... There it is! We found it! Right there. Purple little planet. Okay. Now we gotta watch out for... Signal. 
because if we get behind it, it will cut out our signal. So that is kind of a scary thing. Which is why we want the relay to be a little bit, maybe further out than that. That's kind of really close. Well, we maybe do a big oblong. The plan is to come in and make sure that we're kind of out for, what is it, Gilly? Uh, launch the second, launch our top piece off, it can go to Gilly, and then we'll probably get my relay in a good spot, and then we'll pull it in for the actual lander. So we're going to go behind it here, and it just kills our, our signal, which we're going to go a little bit past. There we go, right there. Okay. Let us narrow it in and get into an orbit. Oh, beautiful planet. Okay. Let's see, we are kind of at a weird angle for Gilly, but that's fine. But the ship going to Gilly doesn't really have the means to adjust a whole lot. I think we'll try and do some adjusting for it. We got plenty of fuel. I mean, we still have this big tanker and this one to go. So if we run out of this and we don't get to the same plane of Gilly, then we can adjust. It's only 11. We can do that. Let's get over here. Okay, let's see if we can adjust to Gilly. Because we want that thing to have a pretty easy trip to Gilly. Oh, wrong way. I think I think it'll use up probably half our tank to do this, but we have we have plenty. I always put extra fuel on because I don't know how to play this game right, so <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, look at that. We're already, we're dropping this fast. Let's get right on it. To try and drop as much as we can. Yeah, we'll send that guy to Gilly with no problem. We'll we'll, we'll shoot him off, but we'll kind of ignore him for a bit and come back to him after we set up our relay and stuff. Or I don't know, maybe we will do him first. I think we'll detach him, set up our relay, because we don't know really actually run into Gilly on an off chance. That would suck. So we can do that. Let's get back up to it. Uh, negative point one. I don't like that. Let's fix that. There we go, okay. Let's... I don't like being on this side of the planet for my parapus, my platypus. Hmm. So let's go ahead and just, I guess, I mean, we have, what is Eve? I think Eve's atmosphere starts at 90,000. So we have room to work with if we need. So if it gets down to 100,000, I think we'll kind of cut off there. Okay, see, that's right there. We want that there. What we're going to do now is we are going to detach the Gilly module. Ooh, the camera is being... There we go, free. No, maybe not free. Maybe not orbital. Maybe not chase. We'll just do auto. It's fine. Oh, man, this is killing me. Okay, this part, it may or may not work. <laughs> So first off, we need to decouple this because it has a little relay on it. And then it looks like right here. Do we have a connection? We have a connection. Direct connection. Okay. The only problem I don't like is this big like dog cone. Can I get rid of this? Hmm. No. Oh well. So let's pull our relay in a little bit. We can... Yeah, we don't need to set a target or anything. Get this down to 100,000. Oh, whoa, no, 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 no. What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, 
Oh no! Did our sh Oh, don't, don't, don't tell me I did what I just think I did. Oh crap. <laughs> oh no! We didn't even do any science! This whole time I could have been doing science. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. What did we run into? It says there's three pieces. That's not good. Oh, please have something sal salvageable. Okay, the Gilly one is just fine. What is going on then? What did I explode? He's fine. Oh my gosh, something exploded. Oh, something here on the top exploded. I don't know what, but it did. Uh, looks like we lost. Let's see what we lost. We lost, okay, we have one solar panel. That'll work. And most of our relay system. So this, the, the control piece, the, what are these called? The reaction, the stabilizer blew up and it had an antenna and a thing, but I made a backup. I put a backup on there because I thought things could happen that would be bad. So what I'm going to do is before anything else happens, let's just, let's just drop our relay right here. This is good enough for our relay. Whoa. Where are you going? Do you not have a robot on you? <gasps> no. Why did I launch you off then? There's, you're useless. You're useless. You are useless. <laughs> well, okay, whatever. Oh my gosh, what are you doing out here, buddy? Oh, you don't have a connection. Okay, uh, can you get one? Can you relay off the gilly one? Oh, I don't have, I didn't put big antennas on you because I didn't, thought I could just relay the other one. Is it because you're not... Okay, this one can, because you have these big things, but can you not connect up to this guy? Okay, you're useless. Let's just rename you to... Debris. Venus... Oh, no, you fail. Uh, debris, there we go. Okay. Oh, but you don't have a connection. I should have left that piece on. Can you not? Okay, why can't you? Here's my question. Why isn't this thing connected up to the ghillie ship? It should, right? Someone explain this to me. Why does this one... Oh, I know why this one has connection to these. But this is a relay. It doesn't need to be turned on or anything. So this one has a stable connection. So why can't my other ship connect up to... Not this one. This guy. This guy has five... Actually, yeah, five antennas. The relay. As well as these four. But this has no connection, even though there's a ship literally like five feet from him over there somewhere. Okay, well let's at least get some science with this guy, I guess. Oh, I can't. I don't know why something exploded. It must not be connected right or off. 
You know what? We might have ran into the decoupler. I don't know. Get a little bit of science. Hmm. If we can't get that other ship to work, we might have to. I have to send you to Eve. No, because you don't have the thing. You'll just explode. How many mystery goos do you have? Do you have two? Yeah, we'll do one right here. And then this big old boy on the end. I can't believe that thing exploded. Someone explain to me why my other ship doesn't have a connection. It just baffles my mind. This, yeah. I'm not even close enough to it. Is it because they're too close? Please tell me that's the reason they're too close. <laughs> I just, I want to connect up to it. It should connect up to it. Okay, this is pissing me off. Oh, I have connect. I have limited connection, I think. I think I have that turned on. Yeah. But it should it should relay up, right? Okay, well at least let's land on Minmus. Oh wait, you're uh too far away. Okay, we need to call you something else so we know what's what. I should have put the freaking big relays on that ship just because nothing. I mean, these guys, these big direct things on that third one. I was thinking about it. I'm like, nah, the relay will be cool. We'll do that to make the relay. Relays don't work. That's all I got to say is relays just don't work. Um, let's pull this guy back out. Is it because the relay doesn't have a connection? Like, if I retract these... Do you not have a connection? You don't. So the relay has, doesn't have a But you would think that they'd combine, right? It says combinable. combinable. These say combinable. So I should have a connection then, right? I don't know how that works. Well, let's head to Gilly. <laughs> Actually, let's swing by um, Eve. We'll drop into low orbit of Eve and hop right back out to get some science. I mean, high, high orbit of Eve. Drop down like 89. Okay. Um, please tell me I can turn. Yeah, okay. Whew. Oh, we got to activate our engine. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Wrong way, buddy. You don't have a lot of fuel. You got to not be wasting it. Let's get down to 80, 89. Look at that. Actually, let's go a little bit further so we have time to actually do the science. Okay. Oh, we're going to be on the other side. We, I don't... I don't think we can do it. Can we do it? That thing's going fast. Did you see that sucker? Is that the one that exploded? Okay, yeah, I have no connection. Uh, keep experiment. Keep experiment. No, we want to do that in the landing. Experiment. We'll do those three and then... I think we got another one as well. So let's get back on a better area. Ooh, you are heating up. Get out of there. Get out of there. Put everything away. Retract. 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 Bad mojo. Turn around. Oh, I can't turn you. you out of there. Come on, buddy. <sighs> that was scary. Come on. Where's my 
connection. Oh, because I turned everything off. Dur, 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 dur. <laughs> There we go, okay. Let us send all this off. No, we didn't do that. What, we got this guy? Oh man, yeah, we're not gonna do that again. Not enough charge, oh wait. Oh no, we ran out of charge. We can't re- This is so stupid. I can't turn it on! <laughs> Guys, this has been a f <sighs> Someone just kill me right now, please. Please just kill me. Okay, well, we definitely can't- We can- <sighs> We'll end there. It's been a failed mission. I'll redo it in a day or two. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Someone explain relays to me in the comments. Please explain relays to me. Have a good night, guys.